Hi there, I'm Thosha Mudli. I'm the founder of Robo Rabbit Labs. Robo Rabbit is a company founded on the principle of loving technology and technology loving us back. Um, we are the creators of technology and um, the more we participate and put our hearts into it, the more technology will support us and empower us. That's my idea, my heartfelt wish. And that's what I'd like to share with everybody um, who is open and who is searching for something. Uh, please feel very welcome. And thank you so much for buying this kit. I put a huge amount of love and care into designing it and um, to assembling all the components and uh, basically every aspect. <laughs> so I very much hope that you're extremely pleased and that you um, receive a lot of joy and transformation and you have a lot of fun with this kit. And um, I hope to see you again. So take care, good luck, please keep in touch and uh, let's get started with creating. So this is what we're going to make. Um, it's a felt ornament. Um, you can see the um, lights um, behind this uh, purple felt. Uh, you can see the um, conductive thread also on, on the black backing. And uh, this is how it looks at the back. This is the battery holder. Um, you turn it on with this switch at the bottom and then you can see the eyes light up in the front. Um, so this is the finished product and I've assembled it using um, embroidery thread and also glue for this part that uh, is a little bit loose on the top. Um, in your kit you will receive um, the purple uh, front panel and the black backing. Um, this is the needle and the conductive thread. This is made of metal and this is what um, carries the electricity uh, in the circuit. So um, we use the thread to connect the battery and let me draw your attention to a few things on the battery, um, the battery holder. Um, this is the negative terminal of the battery holder, and this is the positive terminal. And that's quite important in terms of sewing the circuit. We want only negatives to negatives and positives to positives. Um, this is the switch. Uh, it's in the off position right now, and I've just pushed it into the on position. This is an example of the um, CR2032 battery. You can see the plus sign on top. It's a little bit scratched, so sorry about that. But um, when you want to fit the battery into the battery holder, um, make sure the positive plus sign is on top. And it takes quite some force to push it in and then it's quite secure. You can, um, if it's already sewn into the circuit, you can um, use a, like a pair of scissors to push the battery out of the holder. Um, just as the battery holder comes with a negative and a positive terminal, this is what I call an LED sequin. Um, it also has a positive and a negative side. So this, where the plus is, is the um, positive side. And where the minus is, is the negative side. So when you're sewing um, the LED sequin to the terminal of the battery holder, you want to make sure that you sew negative to negative and positive to positive. Um, in the kit, I mean, um, the, the LED sequins come in a pack like this of five joined together. 
and um, you just snap them apart to um, use them. So you'll use just two. I mean, you can always use more if you so choose. But um, I will show you how to use the two to make the eyes of the um, skull. You will also have a yellow and a black em embroidery thread. Um, you don't need to use all of it. Um, you can uh, you can sew with different stitches. You can put more sewing, more color into it. Uh, feel free. Or you, when you're sewing it, if you want to sew it, you can also sew it with black so it doesn't um, show so much. That's just to give you some options. And um, there's also a piece of decorative thread so that you can make the ornament hang. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to position the battery holder as best I can. by um, turning it around and trying to get the um, thread where you're going to sew it onto the battery holder to be um, just under the nose. So uh, I've already made a double knot in my thread and I'm going to um, poke my thread through nearby the battery holder and so quite a few loops um, through this hole to secure it and make sure it makes um, good electrical contact between the battery holder and the thread. So if you don't do that, you might get kind of a bit of a um, flickering sometimes with your light. So. I would suggest you make some good contact. I like to do small stitches, but you can do um, bigger stitches if, if you can't manage to do some small ones. And what I like to do is make quite a few loops, as many as I can get, and then also sew through underneath. The, the stitches. So here we go. So try not to catch too much of the felt itself. It's starting to get a bit difficult so I'm going to leave it there and then what I'm going to do is now that the battery holder is kind of secured, well it's it's secure enough let's say, I'm going to position the front on and then I'm going to um, put the uh, a marker where I want to sew the eye LED. So um, I want the negative terminal to be towards the nose. That is going to make sure my wires don't cross over on the other side and I'm just going to get it in approximately the right position and use um, an office pen to sort of keep it there while I pull off the top very awkwardly. Okay, so then I'm going to take my needle and sew up to that point. And then sew through. Let's see, yeah, that's good. So I'm going to pull out the pen and this has to go 
this way, as in the positive terminal of the LED sequin on the outside and the negative terminal on the inside. And then I'm going to do the same kind of stitching that I did with the battery holder. So we'll get quite a few good, secure, stiff loops uh, under tension through the LED sequin. And then I'm going to try to go underneath them, if possible, um, to get a good, secure connection. Let's see, it's not too bad. There, it gets quite tight, so I'm going to do finish off now. And I'm going to go to the back side and end with a few stitches with a knot. Try to get that as tight as possible. Another one. If I'm feeling Fancy might go back and just put it under like that. Um, let me see. Usually what I do next is I put in the battery and I'll test to see if um, it's making good contact. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate next. So here's the battery and I'm putting it positive side up. And then I'm just going to take the thread, hold it against the positive terminal, and then you can see it's lighting up. So that's a good connection that we have to the negative terminal. So the next step is exactly the same, except we're going to the positive terminal, which is about there. And I'm just going to do my double knot. and repeat basically we're just going to repeat this for um, the positive terminal and uh, then we're going to repeat it for the other side um, so again we're going to do the negative terminal on the inside towards the nose and positive uh, terminal of the led to the outside um, towards the outside of the face You have to be careful of these ends because you don't want to short circuit your circuit by connecting the wires to each other. So don't make oops, don't make the uh, ends very long. It can also um, basically completely run down your battery in no time if you get a short circuit. It's kind of safest to kind of secure the end. Okay, so let's check um, how that looks. Looks good. Oh, it's a bit skew. Well, I don't mind so much. That's kind of fun. I like it. Okay. So that was the first one. And let's get going to do the second um, LED sequence. So I'm going to do the same thing. So in the negative terminal, sew up, put a marker for myself for the negative terminal of the LED and put it in position. Okay, so I'm just gonna snap one of these guys off 
and get the top in position again. And the negative terminal has to be on the inside. I'm going to put it around here. my marker in and then aim for that but be careful while you're sewing it's actually best to take the battery out because your thread can short circuit the battery and you'll lose all the power in your battery. So give myself a nice double knot here. Positive terminal to positive terminal. I'm going to put my battery back in, positive side up. And turn it on. Looks good. Now, you could sew this on, embroider it on. I usually like to do blanket stitch or chain stitch, or even you could tack it with like a contrasting color. Um, embroidery thread okay so I've um, chosen some light yellow thread and I'm going to just easily tack all the way around and you could also glue this the top on um, but I I like this high contrast look so I'm just gonna do some semi small stitches. Let's try to keep them a bit even. Um, you could use office pins to keep the top in place, but for me it's sort of, it's flexible, but there's enough friction to keep it where I, kind of where I want it. try to finish off here so it looks like it's continuous and uh, I'm going to sew down this end so it doesn't stick out as it is now and do a little knot which I like to do. It's not showing through, that's good. And then I like to sew, maybe I'll sew around this and make sure it doesn't stick out. Okay. And then the loop, I'm just going to sew it right is it in the middle important question that looks good i think so i'm just gonna sew it 
so it doesn't show um, through only on the black part. I'm going to try not to poke through the even not even poke through the, entirely on the black part of the felt. Just catch a bit so it doesn't show. I mean, I could also easily use black thread and I've knotted the um, the loop at the bottom so that it's um, let's see it looks okay it looks good so it doesn't slip through here and that's one of the methods that I've preferred to use Okay, and then I'm just going to do a few knots. This is a little bit annoying, so I'm pulling it through. Missed my chance to make a knot there, but I'm just gonna improvise. And then sew along here and then cut it off. Maybe it doesn't look like much on the back, but on the front, it looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna stick that down in lead and I'll show you how it looks once it's been stuck down. So I'm gonna use this glue. It's like general purpose glue Definitely got some fresh glue coming out. Yeah, there we go. Let's see, comes through a little bit, but it doesn't bother me much. I'm just gonna try to get it to fit under. And that's it. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've enjoyed making your own sugar skull and that you like the look of it. And um, I really love to see you again. Thank you.